Well, tonight to remember 55-year-old America Thayer. She was brutally murdered in Shakopee yesterday. Today we're learning more about Thayer, the suspect in her death, and what half what friends have described as a troubling relationship between the two. And Fox 9's Mary McGuire joining us with more on this story. Mary? Well, there is some really gruesome video of this crime circulating on social media, which Fox 9 is choosing not to show. Friends and coworkers who came to the vigil tonight say they want America to be remembered as the sweet and kind person that she was, not for the tragic way that she died. I'm never forgotten. Holding a sign and balloons, Faith Howie and her family came to the intersection of 4th Avenue and Spencer Street to honor the life of their neighbor, America Thayer. I'm not going to see that beautiful smile again that I've seen every day. They weren't alone. Former coworkers and friends stopped by the memorial, leaving flowers to remember a woman they call an angel on earth. I'm still kind of in shock. It's just really hard and very traumatizing. Just one day earlier, Shakopee police were called to that intersection. A search warrant reveals when they arrived, they found Thayer's decapitated body lying on the ground next to a car. Authorities say they have a suspect in custody, who multiple people tell Fox 9 was in a long-term relationship with Thayer, where domestic abuse was a consistent problem. About a month ago, Howie says Thayer came to her apartment looking for help. She goes, can I come and sleep here tonight? She goes, I'm afraid he's going to get up and start in again. Court records reveal the suspect was convicted on domestic assault charges in 2017 and was facing arson charges for allegedly trying to burn his apartment down. On the most recent charges, he was released on $50,000 bond this spring. Those close to Thayer say they don't want people to remember the way she died, but rather the way she lived. We just needed a time for everyone to heal and come together and just remember for who she was and not for what happened. Now, on Wednesday afternoon, the suspect was scheduled to be in court, but he didn't show up. Formal charges are expected to be filed in this case tomorrow afternoon. But uh, when I was out there today, there were a lot of people who knew America, but there was also a lot of people from the community in Shakopee who just wanted to come by and mm -hmm. leave a flower and, you know, give their condolences. So just a beloved woman in the area. Yeah, what a horrible, really horrible tragedy. Mm -hmm. And for all the people who live around there who also witnessed all of this, too. Very traumatizing. Thank you, Mary. Well, talk